Hello, everybody. Today, we're going to be talking about some Elden Ring tips and tricks that might help you, you smelly, tarnished people, to help your way across the lands. So, let's, uh, let's talk about that. So, rule number one. Raise your damn health. That's probably the number one thing that'll help you throughout your journeys. You'll notice in these clips that I've, I have saved, I'm only doing like 150 damage or something like that, and I'm taking out a huge chunk of their health. Here's, right here's, uh, seems to be like the only person who seems to have health above a thousand. Because, as you see, I, about a thousand damage is done to him, and he's still, you know, he already had some health gone. So, he's doing it right. Number two, stop hiding behind your shield. That will get you killed faster than anything else in the game. It, now, it's possible to have, like, a tank build, but it's, you know, who's you're still not going to be outputting the damage as someone who's, like, heavily invested in doing damage. So, I don't really think that's viable. Maybe for PV PvE, but not PvP. Number three, stop panic rolling. Please, for the love of God, stop panic rolling. It is so exploitable. I was gonna say, there's a reason why Margit and a lot of other bosses, people have trouble with them, is because they punish panic rolling. That's why they got the weird timing. They're trying to beat the spam dodge out of you. And if they don't do it, PvP will. Number four, if uh, you die twice, you lose all your runes, or you don't have that many runes to begin with, and you, and you don't really mind losing them, you can always take your time, you know, do some PvP, figure out how certain things work in the game if you're having trouble, just as I say, you don't have anything to lose, so why not take the chance in this opportunity to understand the game a little bit better? That'll help you out a lot, especially if you do PvP stuff. And you, you know, pretty much just figure out what's right for you. Number five, is this is more so, uh, not really kind of advice. Uh, don't look up spoilers or builds in this game for your character. And this is more so advice of, for some, from somebody who's played, you know, all the games from a, a fresh perspective lens. You miss out a lot of the wonderment and the achievements that you feel, that make you feel fulfilled. Which is what the series is known for. If you ever need help, just either, you know, summon in some people or get summoned. You know, there's plenty of ways to learn and make yourself get better. Or, you know, like I said, the PvP aspects. But really, just don't look up any, like, spoilers or builds. Because they're, in the long run, they're just going to kind of make you get spoiled. And the game is really more so about you not being spoiled. So, with these five advices... It should be helpful on your journey of getting good at Elden Ring. And get good isn't like a derogatory thing. It's a thing of betterment. You better yourself. That's what the meaning means. So, uh, if you enjoyed the video, you made it this far, uh, hit us up with a like. Hit us up with a subscribe. Check out all the beautiful other stuff that we do down in the descriptions, like our website, whatnot. You want to buy games off of us, whatever, whatever it's, whatever you feel. Just uh, get good. What the hell is going on?